This is the cockpit floor, and uh, or most of the cockpit floor. It is a steel plate uh, to which the binnacle is welded. Now the binnacle's here, uh, and it was held down by two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, uh, thirty-two, four, five, six, thirty-eight. 42, about 56 bolts. I've got every single one of them out apart from three. Uh, one there, one there, and one there. And the only alternative I've got is to grind the tops off those and remove the bolts that way. But the idea is once I get to grind these bolts off, I'm going to go around the whole area here and uh, sand it down, prepare the surface, get some rust preventer, uh, well, rust converter on, and at least get a, a primer coat on. It's amazing how what is in theory an easy job, you know, just undo a load of bolts, uh, becomes so hard because every single bolt was difficult. Never mind, another day. I'm just going to put the washboards on because this is going to be a bit messy. Potentially. And then the cable doesn't want to. Right, well, we'll have to live with it as it is. So, my task just now is I've got three bolts down here one, two, three, which will not come out. So, I'm going to try. and cut them off. If I can cut the tops off I can get the bolt out underneath. I'll just have to replace them with new ones. Let's see how we get on. Change my cutting disc to a, a flat disc so that I can go round hopefully and clean everything up a bit.
so I've been around with a flat disc uh, everywhere I can reach and I've made an awful mess and I've then been round with a wire brush um, on the end of a drill uh, one of these and one of those um, and I'm just going to get the hoover back out again and uh, and make some more mess those are out so um, I've cleaned the area as best I can um, I haven't tried to lift off this uh, this plate yet um, that is gonna have to wait until I come back uh, but what I'm gonna do you just go over um, the really bad rusty areas and any bits where I've exposed metal because um, I've taken all the paint away and use some of this Rustin's rust converter now this one is quite old um, I don't think it goes off I'm probably going to use the whole blooming bottle. <clears throat> but what I want to do is any areas like this where there's I mean, to be honest with you I, I'm tempted to do the whole lot like this around the base there's a bit of rust showing there These two holes here, um, they do go direct through into the boat, so I will need to cover those in case there is some rain. rust converter you can tell that it's worked because it goes a, a purple colour and I think 
I will want to go over this again before I get some paint on. Now the worst areas are the bits that you can't really see. Um, they're the ones that have got a lot of pitting and flaking. And especially <coughs> this area here, um, this gap here, this is where there have been drips when it rains, there have been drips getting down into the boat. Nothing serious but annoying. So once I've painted I am going to seal all around this area with some kind of um, epoxy or something. Um, just to try and keep the the water out. So back on the boat, uh, having been home for a couple of days. Um, another cracking day. And uh, as you can see, um, painting the uh, cockpit today. Now I'm not using um, a an expensive marine paint here. This I am using is I think this cost me five pounds. It's from a company called Leyland High Gloss White Paint, and it says it's suitable for metal or wood, interior or exterior use. So I'm going to give it a coat all the way around. And I might have to give it a second coat. So this is the bit I was talking about. Um, that once I've painted it, I want to put in a layer of filler um, just I will have to leave room for the the, um, the other end of the bolts when they go back in but the idea is just to encourage water to flow back towards the scuppers or the, the, not the scuppers, the cockpit drains down that way. Um, because one of the biggest problems is it's where you've got water that just sits. That's where you get the, the, the damage occurring and the muck accumulating. Um, if it drains, it will dry. It's easier to clean. I'm probably waffling a bit here, but there you go. I'm going to get on with some work now. So here we are, uh, this part of the cockpit at least, transformed. Um, I think it will probably get another coat of paint at some point. Um, but I'm pleased with what I've done so far. Uh, this I've got a bit of um, paper here, in fact I'll just turn it over like that. 
and it's just protected. I've, I just redid the, the paint on this bit here um, because I, I stood on it too early and I left a footprint. The, the paint I'm using, it does uh, go touch dry quite quickly, but it seems to want two, up to two days before it's cured enough that you can stand on it. Um, so that's where I went wrong. So that's what this is all about. But I wanted to do this bit first before I start knocking about with anything below. No, thank you. Well, of course I am. Got to maintain my trim figure somehow. Why are you laughing? <laughs> now, it's getting quite late. It's about half past ten. <laughs> I was just about to eat. <laughs> I saw this duck going past the boat. Um, that's the male duck. And then... I've seen the female duck. Now, she's the one that had a really bad leg and she was just like um, sitting next to the boat. And I could go right up to her and I could stroke her back, um, gave her water, um, gave her things like rice and seeds and any sort of greenery type stuff I had. Yes, a bit of bread. I know you're not supposed to give them bread, um, but it's the one thing that they seem to readily eat. Um, but she is back and she's got a bit of a limp, but she's, she's certainly walking a lot better than she was. Um, I haven't seen her for, uh, ooh, when was the last time I saw her? I haven't seen her for about five days, and I thought somebody had, uh, had the SSPCA come and take her away, but, uh, obviously not, 